Guilford County Schools is giving a sneak peek of its new touchless body scanners. If all goes as planned, the weapons detectors could soon be in every district high school. The goal is to increase school safety by keeping weapons out. Today, school leaders held an open house to get feedback from students and parents. WFMY News 2's Jenna Kurzina joins us live now to give us a walkthrough of the screening process. Yeah, Julie and Chad, this is exactly what it's going to look like when you come through the main entrance of the school. So you can see the body scanner right here. In my hand, I have my GoPro and accessory stick, my phone, and then on the back of my dress, I have my mic. So I'm going to walk through and let's see, it went green to red. So if you come through and that happens to you, you're going to walk over here. There'll be someone manning this station. There's a monitor and you can see exactly what was pinged. It was my GoPro stick. So the district says anything that resembles a firearm or has metal could get pinged. So during the past uh, week, they've been doing a test phase where students have been coming through as they come through summer school. Now as teachers, visitors and everyone walks through the scanners, these scanners look like exactly what you go through when you leave or enter a store. These specific scanners are made by Evolve Technologies. While the district says their first test run has went smoothly, they really want to hear from you, the public, to get input on making this decision to put them in the district high schools. One parent and deputy with the Greensboro Police Department says she is all for anything that keeps kids safe. We're honestly in support of anything that can be done to increase safety in our schools. Um, and, and as a parent and as a police officer, anything that can be done that is a deterrent for somebody that has um, bad intentions is, is a plus. So again, I just walked through this scanner. You could see that it picked up my GoPro stick here. So anybody that's at the station can see it very, very clearly. If something does uh, pop up like it did in this little box, they'll go through the bag and walk through with whoever um, the the box pops up on. So, but if you missed out tonight and you want to still see these um, for yourself in person, you can go to High Point Central tomorrow from four to six for another open house. And of course, the district wants to hear from you.